Hello, I'm Gator Tim Schwartzman. I'm the general manager here at Sawgrass Recreation Park. Uh, we're an eco-tourist attraction in just uh, west of Fort Lauderdale where we take guests out on airboats into the Everglades and we go looking for wildlife and to see the scenery in the, in the, the natural area. We also have an animal exhibit full of uh, rescued reptiles like alligators, pythons, iguanas that people have the uh, chance to see up close and learn about. And also they have a second chance at life. We are actually obviously now kind of changing a little things around our park and to, in order to stay safe and, and sanitize things a little extra and also keep our distancing uh, with the new COVID regulations in place. The other thing we're doing is all of our boats now are uh, only allowed to have up to 10 people on instead of our normal 25 or so. Uh, we're wiping down our boats with the same disinfectants in between each tour. Instead of having every row full of people, we're actually blocking off every other row so that they're completely separated as well. All of our staff wear masks uh, when anywhere they're working with each other or in face-to-face -face contact with any customers. Inside of our store and on the boats, we are requiring customers and captains to wear their masks as well. markings all throughout our store and outside of our building for when we do have larger volumes of customers to keep everyone in line separated by at least six feet. Hand sanitizer stations are located throughout the park. We've even changed our food truck setup where one food truck is actually now designated as the ordering and pay payment option and the other is actually just for the food preparation so they're completely separated. So real quick, this is kind of a good spot if you kind of get a chance, if you want to stand up, kind of look around. Um, you'll get a kind of an idea of just the vastness of the Everglades. It's massive. There he goes, showing off. Look at him. Big bony ridges on his back. You know what those are called? No. They're called bony ridges on his back. They're also called scoots or osteoderms, and like the name implies, they're kind of like bony skin. Now again, like birds, they are curious by nature. They will investigate things, they'll mouth things. the other things we've actually imp implemented is we actually have a designated COVID response person every day that's here. Basically just their entire purpose is to wipe doorknobs and railings and all that, but also to make sure that each department is doing the cleaning that's scheduled throughout the day and also to make sure that people are following our social distancing uh, recommendations and mask wearing recommendations as well. Uh, 